What is going on guys? Grave here. Today let's talk about the next Battlefield game. We've got a little bit of information about this. And you all know that I'm a big fan of first person shooters, but when it comes to Battlefield and Call of Duty, I've played every one ever made. So I guess I would say those are my two favorite first person shooter games. And over the last several years, a lot of the community has been disappointed with Battlefield. I've been disappointed with Battlefield. And there's been a lot of turnover in the company. But EA did state during their November earnings call there will be a new Battlefield game coming to next generation consoles in holiday 2021. Uh, there will be more information about this revealed in the spring. Now, I find it interesting that it's going to be on next generation. So it seems like they're just going to go ahead and go with next gen. It doesn't look like they're going to be putting this uh, game on old generation consoles. It also said, also said DICE is creating our next Battlefield game with never before seen scale. So that kind of makes me understand why they're saying next gen consoles because if we're going to go with something absolutely massive something we've never seen before it's probably going to take a next gen console to be able to run this it says technical advancements of the new console are allowing the team to deliver a truly next gen version for the franchise they have a, a hands-on play testing underway uh, kind of internally right now uh, moreover ea confirmed that the next battlefield game is set to launch in holiday 2021 they're going to share a lot more about the game in the spring Later on, the CEO of EA says they have rallied the entire uh, DICE studio around the development of Battlefield and have given them an extra year of development to ensure they can, in fact, build a true next-gen version around the game. DICE is one of the most talented studios on the planet. He went on to talk about you know, how great the company is and how they've always done very well with you know, the game in general. Now, I find it kind of interesting that he says they're putting their full focus of the DICE team on the next Battlefield game, which kind of sounds funny to me because you would think their full focus would be on every Battlefield game they've made. But like I said, there's been a lot of internal things going on with the DICE, so I'm not sure exactly what's changed, who's in charge of all this now. But it looks like they're really pushing to make a really good Battlefield game from the sounds of it. And that's going to definitely have to be the case if they want to win some of the community back over. Now, there's always some hardcore fans out there like myself that really enjoy the game and really want to see the game succeed. But at the same time, I don't know if I would consider myself just a true hardcore fan. Uh, really looking at everything that's gone, over the last, gone on over the last few years. Because I have really been skeptical about the game. I've really wondered, you know, if they make another game, will it be something that I purchase? Which is kind of hard for me to think about. Considering, like I said, I've played every Battlefield game, but it would be the same for Call of Duty. If there was really a Call of Duty that I did not like, some of them I really had to think about, you know, do I really want to purchase this game or not? Hopefully, DICE will put in the effort for this, because I think, like I said, it's going to take a lot to win some of the community play, uh, people back. Uh, some of the players in the community have kind of given up on the game since Hardline, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. Those, all those games were a disappointment to a lot of people. Some people liked them, some people didn't. But overall, it's not the same as it was with Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2. Those days have kind of gone when it comes to, you know, how the community felt about the game. Those two games in particular were very, very popular on PC and on console. And the game in general has kind of gotten away from that feel over the last several years. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you interested to see kind of what's going to happen with this going forward? I'm definitely looking to... Uh, looking forward to getting some more information about this myself when it comes to you know this coming spring. I know it's going to be a while to wait, but I think we might get a little bit more leaks here and there about the game before then. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.